Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Tuesday, December 28. Rodrigo Esponda Cascajares, director of the Los Cabos Tourism Board, FITURCA for a acronym in Spanish, confirmed that Los Cabos has not been affected by the cancellation of flights that has been happening around the world caused by the new Omicron variant, including canceled flights across the United States. Esponda said that even though Los Cabos is experiencing a great moment in terms of recovery, it is important for citizens and residents, especially for authorities, to stay alert to prevent an increase in the number of active COVID-19 cases, having certifications, and especially with an important action program for the adequate implementation of biosafety measures, have been determining factors for tourists to have decided to visit Los Cabos during the pandemic. Rodrigo Esponda announced that this year, Los Cabos will close with approximately 10% more tourist arrivals compared to 2019. Only this last month of the year, around 300,000 visitors are expected, of which 60,000 are expected to arrive during the last week of the year. The forecast for this end of year is for Los Cabos to have an occupancy of 80%, this being the highest occupancy level that has been registered since the pandemic began in 2020. In other news, Francisco Cota Marquez, Los Cabos Civil Protection's Deputy Director, reported that the safety and emergency personnel under his command worked around the clock between December 24 and 26, answering to more than 30 emergency services coordinated by civil protection. Most of the calls, he said, were car accidents. There was also a fire in a home and several domestic violence reports. Cota Marquez also said that civil protection conducted special inspections to ensure that the maximum allowed capacity was observed at retail stores since there were crowds on the streets doing last-minute Christmas shopping. Civil protection also patrolled the municipality to ensure that there was no illegal sale of fireworks. Cota Marquez called on citizens to avoid excessive consumption of intoxicating beverages and above all to not drink and drive. He also recommended that all drivers avoid speeding and asked them to be very careful when driving, all in order to avoid more car accidents. The Deputy Director of Civil Protection in Los Cabos also reported that a cold front is expected to be in the area in the coming days, which means that a marked drop in temperature throughout the state is forecasted starting tonight. Cota Marquez mentioned that there is the possibility of strong winds and light to moderate rains, especially from December 29 to January 1st. He anticipated that during this period, Los Cabos will register highs in the low 70s and lows in the mid-50s. So he recommended everyone to stay home as much as possible to avoid getting sick. And in other news brought to you by Gringo Asset, the Golf World publication has published its top 100 world resorts based on their golf courses, services, and amenities. Competing with 33 countries, Los Cabos placed three properties in the list. In position 16, the Diamante Dunes course by David Loeb I. The Jack Nicklaus first signature course in Latin America at the one and only Palmilla took position number 33. And last but not least, the Quivira Golf Course at Pueblo Bonito Sunset Beach. Congratulations to all. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Bella.